Spreading joy this morning. The joy bus is now expanding to the West Valley. So the charity, this is a amazing organization. It delivers meals to cancer patients who are stuck at home. Now a group of volunteers along with city officials are coming together to help people in Peoria. So we find Erinie. She is at Joy Bus Cafe and I'm already thinking about a breakfast burrito. Oh, the food is bomb. Wait till you taste it. It is so amazing. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, Javier, the restaurant is currently closed, but that isn't stopping them from keeping the wheels on this bus rolling and making sure they get those meals out to people in the community that are battling cancer. I want to go ahead and bring in Jennifer here. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Now, you guys are expanding to the West Valley. Tell me about this expansion. Yeah, I feel super fortunate that we were able to partner with the mayor of Peoria and Copper Hills Church to expand our meal delivery program to homebound cancer patients in need. And for those who are unfamiliar with your story and the Joy Bus story, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, we started late 2011 when my friend Joy became ill with ovarian cancer. And I started preparing little treats and just trying to stoke her out and let her know that somebody cared about her. Uh, it was that that sort of gave me the realization that there was nothing like us out there to help people in her position. So we created the Joy Bus in her honor and started partnering with local farmers and local chefs to prepare beautiful meals and deliver them to homebound patients in need. Now we did mention, unfortunately, the diner is currently closed, but you have a team of people who are making sure that you keep this going. Tell us a little bit about the operation that we're seeing back here. Yeah, I mean, yes, yeah, super unfortunate that we can't open to the public right now, but the fact that we're able to expand our program during this pandemic is because of local chefs like this who step up to the challenge. Okay, who do we have back here? So we have our chef, Christopher, over there in the back. And then the super rad humans from Sonoran Pasta Company are donating their product and their time to prepare our patient meals today. Then you have some people here with these lovely bags. Tell me about these bags, though. They have some very inspirational messages on oh, them. Oh, it's so rad. We partner <laughs> with local Girl Scout troops, Boy Scout troops, anybody who wants to help. And they decorate these beautiful bags that are delivered to our patients with their meals. All right. So um, anything else that you want to say to people in the community, how they can just keep this going, uh, especially during this time? Yeah, it's it's hard because we should be open right now and that revenue funds our programs for our homebound cancer patients. So right now if they could just donate and help us continue to do what we do, it would be greatly appreciative and needed. All right, thank you so much, Jennifer, and we hope that they will answer that call in the Aww. community. We have a dancing queen back there. She's supervising. <laughs> but I said, <laughs> I told her if she breaks out in the dance, it's okay, I'll join her. You got it? All right, so we'll send it back to you. <laughs>